Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be shopping at Ulta. I know how much you guys love my shopping videos, especially Ulta, Target, and Sephora. So I've accumulated a bunch of stuff on my notes that I've been wanting to try out from Ulta that I'm gonna be picking up today. Hopefully they're gonna be in stock because you guys know I have like zero luck when it comes to finding things in stock. So we're gonna go check out Ulta. I'm so excited. I love Ulta so much and I love their drugstore section. Everything in there is just so good. And and I'm so excited. Also, I, <laughs> funny story. So I was looking at my natural nails today and then I noticed that they looked horrible. So I was like, okay, well, let's go to CVS and grab like a pack of like the fake press on nails. So I did that and I got them and <laughs> you can't really see it from far away, but like close up, they look disgusting and they're glued on. So I can't take them off but like all the paint is like messed up because I got these ones, but they're supposed to be like natural nails. And that's what I was going for. I put them on my nails and it just like, it just looked so off and I couldn't even take them off. So I'm like, okay, I'll just paint over them with white polish. I messed up when I painted with the white polish. So I don't want to be getting comments saying like, ew, her nails are so gross because I know, I am so well aware that my nails have definitely seen better days. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and head to Ulta right now. It opens in about 15, 20 minutes because I like to get there early because no one's there. But yeah, I am so excited. So let's go to Ulta. Okay, so we are in Good Molecules right now and I have their Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I really like it. I like how it's not that tacky, but I really wanted to try out the Niacinamide or however you say this, because I have the ordinary one. I didn't really like it, and plus it's expired. So I just wanted to get the matching niacinamide to this. And they also have the new Ocean Glow uh, from Tree Hut. I'm definitely gonna pick this out. So they have the whipped body butter, and then they also have the gel wash, but I really wanted the scrub, but I'm not seeing it. And I recently just got another body butter from Tree Hut, so I don't need another one, but this is definitely going to be the next scent that I get. And they also have the Halo Glow Beauty Wands from e.l.f. I'm going to be doing a full face of e.l.f. in a future video, so I'm just going to pick out a few things that I want to get here to try out for the full face. So I've been seeing these soap brow everywhere, and I have the brow lift, which is basically just like... A brow thing that like locks in your brows and I really want to try this out so I think we're gonna get this and now we're in NYX and I think I'm gonna get a restock of my brow glue this is the one that I get which is the dark brown I absolutely love this stuff so we're definitely gonna pick this out as a restock and everyone says that their lip liners are so good I'm never really the type to get a lip liner but I kind of want to get one just to try it out and I think I'm just gonna get a nude shade, maybe this like pink one over here. This looks really good. So we're gonna get this. And we're in Milani right now and I've been wanting to try the Make It Last Dewy Setting Spray for so long. So I'm gonna get this, just as like a cheaper one. I have the Charlotte Tilbury one, but it's kind of expensive. So I just wanna get something cheaper. And then I also heard that their under eye tin is really good as well. I might get this one or I might, hmm. I think I might pick this one out, actually, just to try it out, see how this is. I heard it could be a dupe for the Rare Beauty one, so we're gonna see. And we're back in Tree Hut again, and it's taking everything in me to not get the whole Tropic Glow set. I think I might have to come back and get this next time since I already wanted this one. So, yeah, I really want to get the shave oil, the gel wash, and then also the whipped body butter, just so I have, like, the full set going on. So I'm watching this back and I noticed that it said buy one get one 50% off for Tree Hut and I'm so upset that I did not do that like I didn't even see the sign in the store and now I'm like regretting every single decision I've ever made. And I also love Lana lips, so I think I might get another lip balm or like a hand cream or something, a banana balm and I don't really know what this is. I guess it's like 
for dry lips and I love banana so I think we're gonna also pick this out. I've been here for like five minutes and I've already stocked up my cart so much and they also have this lip watermelon tinted hydration thing I guess. This all looks super good. I want to try out all of these but I think I'm just gonna do like one at a time so I'm not like breaking my bank account. And they also have a hand cream which would be so cute to just like keep in my bag. I really, really like how this looks, but probably next time. And we're in Drunk Elephant right now, and they have surprisingly the bronzy drops, or no, what are these? The goldy drops. And the bronzing drops never really stood out to me, but this I feel like I'd use all of the time, but it's also 40 bucks. But this also has niacinamide in it, which I did not know. I'm like contemplating picking this up right now. And I've also wanted this. I think this is the Bee Hydratia Intensive Hydration Serum. This looks amazing, but for 82 bucks, guys, that is actually crazy. I just, oh wait, this is not it. Oh, it's actually 50 bucks. I don't know. I just don't really think I need it. And then this right here, the jelly cleanser, I forgot I used to get this a lot, like a few years ago. I don't remember how I used to like it, honestly. I feel like I just switched to CeraVe because it's so much cheaper, because this is 34 bucks, and I can just not see myself repurchasing this all of the time. And now we're in Super Goop. I always forget that they have this in Ulta, but they have this mineral eye cream, which looks so good. And I love Super Goop because everything has SPF in it. Like even this little powder thing has SPF 35. Like that's so crazy to me how they do that. And they also have this body lotion, but I feel like you can just get sunscreen and it'll be okay. <laughs> and I don't even know how much this is. I don't think it says, but I also love the unseen sunscreen, but I don't know if they have it here. Oh yes, they do. They also have the matte screen. And I also tried my friend's matte sunscreen from Supergoop and I really, really liked it, but this is the bigger size. And I also have this glow stick, which I keep in my bag all of the time. It's so good. Like it kind of goes on your skin oily, but then you like massage it in or whatever. And then it kind of dries out and I really like it. And it's also SPF 50, which is so nice. And they also have fresh hair as well. And if you guys do not know, this right here is one of my favorite lip balms of all time. It's so hydrating, so moisturizing. And we're back in good molecules again, because I feel like I didn't look good enough. They also have this cleansing balm that I was looking at, which is so cheap. I feel like 15 bucks for a cleansing balm is not bad at all. I feel like they're usually like 20, sometimes 25, depending on like the one that you get. But I think next time I'm gonna pick this one up because right now I have the melting balm from Bioma, which is also like kind of cheap, 16. But this I like a lot. I think this is super good. And then I also do like their moisturizing rich cream. This kind of grew on me. I'd have days where I hated this and days where I loved it, but I just ran out right now. I do kind of want to get a new one of this, but I'm not sure, probably not. Honestly, I might get a different moisturizer, but there's this moisturizing gel sunscreen, which looks really nice too but that's gel and i feel like gel is meant for people with oily skin i'm sure if it's like a gel moisturizer correct me if i'm wrong you guys i do not know but i'm pretty sure that's what it is and then peach slices has been popping off recently i've been seeing everyone get stuff from this brand and i purchased this snail rescue jelly mask from them i absolutely love this mask so much it is kind of expensive like 20, well, it depends on what you guys think is expensive or not. I personally think this is kind of expensive because it is like a little container, but this seriously hydrates and clears up my skin so well. It like evens my skin tone. I just really, really love this stuff. And I always try and use it at least once or twice a week just for like a deep cleanse on my skin. I've been wanting to try this moisturizer from Bubble for so long, but every time I go into stores, it's always like out of stock. So I think I'm gonna pick this one up just to try it out. This is the Slam Dunk Hydrating Moisturizer for dry to normal skin. And then they also have a water cream moisturizer, but that's like for all skin types. I'm definitely more dry to normal or more dry. And they also have a sunscreen, which looks so cool too. And I didn't know the e.l.f. 
skin section was right here or maybe I did actually I always forget where things are in this Ulta but I have the Woe Glow you guys already know I really like it it's such a good cheap sunscreen but I've never seen this this is the setting spray sunscreen I do not know how this would work I have the super goop one I just kind of don't like the smell that it leaves on my skin because it is sunscreen and the elf cleansing melting balm looks so nice too it's only $11 and Tree Hut also has their new fall scents. This looks good, apple macchiato. So we're gonna smell this. What? That actually, oh my God, it's like out of focus. That actually smells so good. I did not expect it to smell that good. And then a sweet cream one, which looks super good too. So I'm in Real Techniques. I heard they have a powder puff. Yes, okay. They have this powder puff right here. I am definitely gonna pick this up because the one that I have from um, e.l.f. is good, but I really like the, like how dense this is, I guess. And I feel like this would definitely be better for setting my powder. And I'm also on the hunt for a powdered blush. I do not own like a decent powdered blush. That's the one thing I don't own, but I have no idea what is like the best brand for a good powder blush. I'm looking over here in Bare Minerals and this one looks really pretty, but I just feel like that's kind of expensive. I don't know, but we're still gonna keep looking. So I was looking at this blush right here from NYX. This is such a pretty shade. I think we're gonna get this one. And unpopular opinion, I hated this concealer so much. I don't know, just something about it I hated. But I've just never seen these blushes before, but I'm super excited to try it. They also have a cream blush or matte whatever, but it's like a cream formula. I have so many of those, so I was just really looking for like a matte powdered blush. And now we're in the hair section. I definitely do not do as much to my hair as I want to, but I was looking at these purple toning drops, which look so cool. And you add it to your shampoo. Oh, okay. So I already have a purple shampoo and conditioner. So I guess this is if you don't have that and you just want to like mix it in with it. But that looks super cool. I didn't even know they had that. And Sunbum also has a tinted face cream, which, or powder, nope, primer, whoops. This looks really cool too. I see the Kitsch, or however you say that, I'm not even gonna try, but I see this brand everywhere. The aesthetic of it is just so cute. They have these cute little elastics, which I think would be so cute for, I need to stop saying cute, actually. I'm so sorry, you guys, I say it all the time. But these would be super nice for like a hairstyle, like with braids and stuff. That would be cool, but I never style my hair. Also, I've been wanting to try rollers for so long. I know for a fact I'll be terrible at it. I will put these in, leave them in, be super uncomfortable, take them out for my hair to actually be worse than it was before. So we're not gonna get those. And also, you guys, I've been wanting to ask you. So I've been wanting to try like a brow, I mean, a lash serum for so long but I'm always terrified that it will like get my eye infected. So if you guys have any like good uh, eyelash serum brands, let me know. I heard Grande Lash is really good. My friend has been using it for so long and her eyelashes look amazing. But knowing me, I will wake up the next morning and my eye will be red and bloodshot and disgusting and bulgy and just so bad. I saw this on TikTok, the Maracuja Lip Plumper, but they have the coolest colors. I know for a fact I will not be putting blue on my lips, but it's just so cool to look at. But I actually don't know if it comes out as blue or if it's like your pH balance or whatever, or your sun balance, I don't know. But I got the Maracuja Lip Balm in Raspberry. This was so good, you guys. I'm obsessed with it, but this, Sweet Pineapple Body Butter from Hemp's looks really enticing. That smells so good. I wanna see if they have like a little size of this, you know, like the little mini sizes. They have it. Do I get it? Do I need it? No. I don't know, you guys. I still have the one that I have in my purse, so I really don't need a new one, but this smells amazing. You guys need to go to Ulta right now and smell the Sweet Pineapple Honey Melon Moisturizer from Hemp's. Phenomenal, so good. And this right here is another underrated 
body cream brand this is the body shop i don't really see a lot of people talk about this this is the strawberry one this is my personal favorite just something about the smell is so kind of nostalgic for me almost and this is also new from benefit i'm definitely going to try out this mascara i'm always looking for new ones so i think we're going to get this you guys i spent a little more than i intended to which but i'm so happy because i got 20 dollars off because i got a coupon in my email i mean i never use coupons in my email because i always forget that i have them but i also had an 11 dollars off as well so i technically got like 21 dollars off of my order and then i also had cash just like in my purse so i basically got like half of it for free if that makes sense because like some of it was in cash i don't know if you guys like look at it like that too but since i paid with cash it like didn't come out of my bank account <laughs> So I see it as like half of it was free. Hey guys, so I'm filming this little haul section the day after because I went to work yesterday, but I got so much stuff. Well, technically no, but technically money-wise, yes. So let me show you guys a little haul. First thing, we're gonna start off with a bang. I don't know why I got these. In the moment, it sounded... I already dropped it. What? In the moment, it sounded like a phenomenal idea to just go ahead and drop 40 bucks on this. Maybe not so much anymore, honestly. But I'm genuinely curious what the hype is about. Like I said in the video, the bronzing drops just did not stand out to me that much. So maybe the goldie drops will, but... I obviously got those. I got niacinamide from Good Molecules. I've already been using the hyaluronic acid quite a lot recently, so it's kind of good that I can start using those together in my skincare routine. I got the Ocean Glow Tree Hut Gel Body Wash. I am so excited for this. They had this in Target. Not the most recent time I went, but one of the other times but it smelled amazing so i already knew it smelled good and i was just like waiting to like film a video to buy it because obviously i kind of hold off when i'm not filming because i kind of want to save all of the stuff that i want to buy for a specific video so i could just kind of go crazy because that's just more fun to watch right i also got the nyx sweet cheeks matte creamy powder blush this is creamy huh i did not know that we're gonna see how this is gonna look on my skin because obviously, as you guys know, I will be doing a full face of the new Ulta products that I got because I know you guys absolutely love those videos too. I got a restock on my favorite brow glue of all time. This is the Tinted NYX Brow Glue. As you guys know, my tried and true product right here. I don't think I can live without that makeup product. Honestly, it's so good. I got the new Fan Fest Benefit Mascara. This is fanning and volumizing. So we're gonna see how this looks on my eyelashes. I'm so excited to try that out. And I also think that's new. I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen it personally, but we'll see. I also got the NYX Brightening Under Eye Tint. Looking at it now, this is definitely going to be a little dark, unfortunately. But maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? But it looks kind of good. I also got the Make It Last Dewy Setting Spray from Milani as well. I've been seeing this everywhere too, and I've just always wanted to try it out because it's a cheaper setting spray. I already have the Charlotte Tilbury one, which is abnormally expensive. I also got the e.l.f. soap brow, which I will be trying in my full face of e.l.f. video, but I'm going to be trying it in that video because I'm just going to do a whole full face of e.l.f. I know you guys absolutely love that series as well. And I got Lo the Lana Lips Banana, Banana, what? Banana Balm Sheen 3-in-1. I don't know what the other two are because I know one of it is a lip balm. Hold on. I'm out of storage. Okay, let's resume. But yeah. I got the Lana Lips. I already know I love Lana Lips, but I absolutely love banana. So we're gonna see how that's gonna uh, look. I got the Real Techniques Puff Powder Puff. Whoops. And this is new. I also saw this on TikTok too, and I've just been wanting to try it. And I also got a lip liner too. I don't know why I did not include that, but I got the NYX lip liner. And then finally, this is actually weird because I'm 
the most excited to try this. Well, second most excited because I'm super excited to try this too. Okay. Anyways, the Bubble Slam Dunk Moisturizer. A lot of you guys have been asking me to try Bubble, but everyone's been saying that this brand is like revolutionary, so good, so amazing. So we're gonna see how the moisturizer is. Super excited about this. So I'm not gonna open anything just yet because as you guys, as you guys know, I will be filming a full face, well not full face, but like trying out all of these products. Everything besides from the soap brow because that will be in my full face of elf video. But yeah, I'm honestly so excited. I got quite a lot of stuff to have like almost a full face, maybe not honestly, but some of it's skincare, some of it's makeup, but I cannot wait. Anyways, you guys, I really hope that you all enjoyed this video and I know that you guys love these kinds of videos. So of course I'm trying to push out as much as I can for you guys. But anyways, I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day and I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye.